She likes the arrangement. But anyway, but it's a privilege to be here. What a blessing. I've enjoyed being here already, enjoyed reconnecting with some folks that we've known from years ago when we were here, see some familiar faces, and um, good to meet new people, and we're honored, really, to be here and to be a part of a missions conference. I love missions conference. You know, it's an opportunity for us to seriously concentrate on what we could do for the Lord, what we could do in His work, how we could honor Him and bring Him glory in our, in our outreach and our missions involvement. And uh, we're going to look at that again today, and we'll be every, every service, Lord willing. We're going to be reading from Mark chapter 5, familiar passage, and... Um, if, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you for sta- if you'd stand for the reading of the Word of God, and we're going to begin in verse 1. And I'm going to read uh, this passage, and we'll not deal with every verse uh, in detail, but I love the narrative of the conversion of this desperately, desperately needy man in Mark chapter 5. Verse 1, it says, And they came over... They, talking about Jesus and the disciples, they came over unto the other side of the sea, the Sea of Galilee, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, the pronoun he referring to Jesus, when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains.